It used to be a lot harder though. Especially setting up the stage. Like we didn't have roadies before. We didn't have crew or anyone to handle our sound. So we had to go through everything ourselves. Before I remember our gigs, we'd always be first. And then there'd always be just one or two people. <laughs> but we'd be happy to just play. Once we uh, figured out that we had some chemistry, we just kept going with it. We're a good group. Like Everyone takes initiative and we all volunteer. We don't wait to be told. I, everyone just steps up. So. so if you're looking at like a successful superstar band, yeah, we're not nearly a 10, but we never started this band with the intention of getting to that point. Okay. We just wanted to see what we could do. I think we wouldn't be here without Reams. The value he's really put into our name and just helping us manage everything. We wrote Traces. That was the, the most group of a song we wrote yeah. and the quickest we wrote a song. And then the lyrics of Traces, like the chorus was all about snippets of different things along a greater journey. And so I think that's what the album kind of re represents our journey as a whole as people in the band. We kind of also reflected it with our album art. It's because it's like a book. There's a story there and there's memories. So Traces is kind of like Oh, these are traces of your memories or traces of a story. Yeah. That's how we reflected our music. With. There's one message that we got someone who was in a really dark place. They're like, I'm not a big fan. I don't even know your names. I just know that your music is preventing me from doing things I regret. We've gotten like personal messages from fans telling us how we've affected their lives, giving positivity in their lives. We had no idea that our music would ever go that far in someone's life. <laughs> 